let's talk about production environment production environment is the most critical thing uh, when it comes to uh, sales goals and that's the reason i'm teaching it to you to the like on the very first moment when we are uh, when we have just got to know what exactly sales goals is and we, we haven't seen it yet by the way what sales goals is and how it looks but before that i'm explaining you production because it is very important to understand that most of people do not even do it in their complete courses or whatever uh, they do but i think it's important for you to understand this and production environment definitely why like when people or developers hear production environment they even get nightmares i'm telling you why because production environment is the live environment is the live org where active users are using the applications to do the business and there is business critical data getting it so what is active users the people who are using salesforce uh, to do their business are the active users are the business users i would say and business critical data is the data which is critical to, to their business so in production environment we cannot do anything just like that or we should not do anything just like that because if anything goes wrong it is going to directly impact that business and it is going to cost you as well getting it because you are earning your bread and butter from that business so production environment is the most important thing that you need to take care of like वैसे इट इन हिंदी नाजो से रखना उसको इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू टेक केयर ऑफ योर प्रोडक्शन एनवायरनमेंट एंड यू शुड नॉट डू एनीथिंग जस्ट लाइक दैट इन योर प्रोडक्शन एनवायरनमेंट एंड फॉर प्रोडक्शन एनवायरनमेंट बाय द वे सेल्स फोर्स इज फ्री फॉर पीपल लाइक अस हु वांट टू लर्न इट बट देयर आर सम लिमिटेशन बट नो कंपनी कैन यूज इट फॉर फ्री दे हैव टू पे टू यूज इट गेटिंग इट and uh, the more users you'll have the more amount you'll have to pay it's a per user per month uh, billing life cycle and yeah uh, paying model or subscription model so for production environment uh, i would say that they've got active users business critical data paid environment you have to pay for it we cannot have it without paying it and uh, yeah that's what it is so and i, I think you got it so it's the place where the live applications will be and live users will be and business critical data would be anything that you do wrong if the data got gets corrupted if the get, data gets deleted and everything imagine how it's going to impact that business and on the based on the impact uh, that you have created onto that business your job will be impacted so take the production uh, or like very seriously now let's talk about something in production environment can we develop an application it's a it's a good question in a production environment can we develop an application those who say yes raise your hands one those say no raise your hands no like just like this okay those who are confused raise your hands okay so let me tell you uh, in production environment we can develop applications or we can do the things with the help of point and click tools but we cannot write the code getting it in production environment we can develop application with the help of point and click tools but we cannot write the code it's not allowed getting it but still it is recommended to do not create anything in production environment why because it's going to impact your active users or your business users that's what it is make sense to everyone cool so uh, that's what it is with production environment and then the next one uh, which we've got is production development environment which i think we're going to start tomorrow but meanwhile we can at least have a look stop sharing give me a second guys you guys have to wait uh production environments so let's just ha- at least have a look at what's written in here salesforce.com environments that have active paying users accessing business critical data are known as production environments it stores live data that is actively used to run the business this is exactly what i have explained right now then uh, custom force.com can be developed for own production is leave it note these notes notes wherever you find in my uh, notes 
are very important very very important many of the uh, questions in your uh, in your the certification exam can generate from these notes so make sure to uh, take care of this like they take it seriously users or developers can easily build a custom object field validation rule directly to their production environment without the need of a development or test environment so these all things object field validation can we can do with point and click right however some features like apex code can only be created in development environments next note salesforce always recommends that one should use a development environment when building a forge com salesforce always recommends you to use for uh, like development environment only not the production environment and that's what it is and that's how we wrap up uh, with this any questions anyone any questions uh, in the chat window as well you keep them coming oh you never touch production directly yeah i mean you you'll have to but you should not uh, when it's not required any questions anyone exact deploy deploy it to the production man that's how you do it and do not directly do it to the production man you first have to test it yeah that's how it goes any other question anyone all the upgradation is done in all the upgradation is done in uh, development yeah yeah on development environment and then it is being deployed onto the uh, production man upgradation creating new applications and everything and anything else anyone cool then uh give me a second uh so like never touch do we have uh to down the production system before deploying no 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 you do not have to do that you do not have to do that 